Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building the 1995 Ferrari F355 Spider from the Fast and the Furious. Now, this car has become iconic amongst the Fast and the Furious films, in my opinion, because it is the, for the black Ferrari at the end of the Fast and the Furious that got smoked by um, Brian's orange Supra uh, when they lined up you know for, for a quick drag race but anyway this is going to be the build on that black ferrari f355 and uh, i'm using the grotty cheetah classic this is um pretty much identical to the ferrari from that film um there were uh, minor changes obviously that you'd need to make to it for it to be identical but other than it not being a convertible for a start and then also we've got these triple headlights at the rear um not headlights what am i talking about triple tail lights at the rear um whereas the ferrari only has dual headlights um fuck i keep saying headlights man they're tail lights not headlights fuck so they're not triple where we've got uh, three on either side the ferrari from the film has two either side uh but obviously that's something we can't change and I believe we can't make this convertible either um, but other than those two minor um, flaws I think this is going to be a pretty good build so if you do want to follow me on this build go and purchase yourself a grotty cheetah classic take it back to LS customs and I'll show you how to do the rest so you go my bros as you pull into LS customs you'll see the grotty cheetah classic is obviously in the sports classic category so as always guys, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper. Front bumper, um, not sure if we're going to change this, but we'll have a quick look and see what the alternatives are. So that's actually an improvement from the stock because it's painted and uh, we do need painted. They're even better. I think the retro ones are a little bit better suited to this build than the stock ones because them fog lights at the bottom are pretty much that, that shape from the car from the film um, but it is all color coded as well the only downside is that the splitter is rather large but I think I can see past that just because I you know I think we need the lights more um, so I think this is going to work we're going to go with the retro primary splitter next we'll go have a look in the rear bumpers not sure if we're going to change anything and I'm pretty sure we're not going to change anything because <laughs> that doesn't change much at all it's just exactly the same but in the secondary color so we might as well stay stock for the rear bumper then we're going to go to the engine we've got engine tunes we're going to get the level four for the engine block that don't really matter you can go primary secondary or you can say stock whatever you prefer i'm just going to go with i'm going to go with the primary color what the fuck not next we're going to move to the exhaust uh the exhaust we've got at the moment are quite nice they're pretty good uh they're pretty much the same thing but with carbon tips instead of the titanium tips uh, they're definitely not what we want no we don't want them so these ones are probably the best ones to go with uh, so make your choice out of the stock and the carbon I think the carbon ones look nicer so I'm gonna go with them then we've got the fenders not sure if we oh actually we are we will change something because I think that vented rear fender actually looks a little bit closer to what we need or is it that one no it wouldn't be that one because it hasn't got fins at the back uh, yeah, we'll go good with the vented rear fender. That looks pretty sweet, man. Then we've got the hood. Now, the hood that we need has got a tiny little slit intake at the top. So similar to how that, that tiny slit intake is at the top of there, but we don't need that big bit in the center. Um, hmm. Oh, shit. So that this one here is probably the closest one. I know it's got fin vents in it. Um, which the car in the film does not have but it looks a lot better than what these do i mean these look nowhere near what we need whereas this one looks very close to it but obviously it's got them fin vents you know you've got to take what you're given in this in this game and uh, not everything's going to be perfect it's just going to be the closest to what's available and this is the closest to to what's there so we're going to grab that one Next, we're going to move to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And as you can see right there, we've got the pop-ups. And that is another reason why I purchased this vehicle for this build. They are fucking sweet as fuck. Then we're going to go to the respray. We're going to go primary color. Um, do we, what, I think we're just going to go classic black for this. 
I think that's probably the best way to go. Uh, metallic might have a bit, bit more of a like a, uh, a, a creamy shine to it, which is something I don't think we need. So I'm gonna stay classic and just purchase black for the primary and the secondary. Next, we're gonna to go to the trim color. At the minute, what color is that? Ooh, yeah, so it's like a creamy color at the minute. So we are gonna go trim color and purchase graphite. So next, we've got the option for the roof. Oh, I got a little bit excited then. I thought maybe, just maybe, we'd be able to remove it, but no, it's, they're just sun strips. They look pretty cool, um, but not for this build. The, the car in the film does not have anything like that. Uh, it's just a shame that we can't make it a convertible. Hey ho, it is what it is. Next, we've got the side skirts. So we are going to go with we're going to go with these rigid skirts. I think they look the closest to the ones in the film. Um, these ones look okay, but I think these ones look better. So we're going to go with them, bad boys. Then we've got the spoiler. The car in the film doesn't really have a spoiler, um, but what this is going to do is change this rear as you can see um, now the one from the film I know it's a convertible and you don't really see much of this but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any of that we want to stay away from the spoilers so this is what we want we want like a flatbed like this at the back um, not too keen on the vanity window that we've got there for the engine we want that back bit as flat as possible and because we want it as flat as possible this is as flat as it's going to get um, obviously without the spoiler as well because the car in the film doesn't have a spoiler and like I said, the carbon film doesn't have a vanity window either, um, but it doesn't. But these are vanity windows as well, and it looks a lot nicer than what this does. You see what I mean? It, and it's bulky and it sticks up. That's not too bad if you want to go with that one. I think we're going to go with that one actually, the classic spoiler, um, because it looks closer and looks truer to the one from the film. So yeah, we're going to go with the classic spoiler for for the for, for the spoiler. <laughs> then we're going to go to the suspension. We're going to get the sports suspension, the transmission. We're going to get a super transmission, and then we've got the turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, guys, we're going to go into wheel type and into sport. Uh, these are like a five star spoke rims, and they're also in chrome. Uh, so if you're online. You do want to go and purchase chrome rims for this, but obviously I'm in story mode, so I can't purchase chrome rims from the LS Customs. Um, but when I come out, I can also change it to chrome, you know, within the menus mod. So what we'll just go quickly do now is have a quick flick through and see if we can find some five star um, spoke rims and um, yeah, see what we think. Well, so after flicking through these rims for about 10 minutes, you can see that the wagon masters are actually really close to what we need. Uh, it's a little bit more of a deep dish uh, which is unfortunate but it has the flat spokes um, which we need whereas these ones you can see they're also deep dish but they also curl at the top we've got the ice kids but then they curl at the top as well but then they also dip in the middle um, which is something we don't need either but then if we go to the wagon masters they're flat um, and yeah then we've also got these ones as well with super five they're cool rims but nothing like what we need so wagon masters are the ones you want to go with for the wheel car well, obviously if if you you know you ain't got the money for chrome you want to get them in alloy um, but like i said if you're in story mode and you can't get chrome rims because obviously you're in story mode obviously you purchase the alloy if you're online and you can afford it i highly suggest getting the chrome and to finish off the build as always we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke windows in so again my bros there is my variation of the 1995 ferrari f 355 from the Fast and the Furious movie and as I pull it outside you can see that this is very very close to the one from the film obviously with without it being a convertible um, other than it not being a convertible it is spot on but what I'm going to quickly do now is quickly go into the menus mod I don't know go with vehicle options and we're going to go with the menus custom wheels was it in sport then we go chrome and they were the wagon masters boom there we go sweet as a nut so you can go there you go if you're on pc and you're in and you want to do this build in story mode you can get the chrome rims you just got to download that menus mod and um obviously if you're in online you can purchase them anyway they are a little bit more expensive than the than the alloy versions but i think it sets the car off a little bit nicer and uh, definitely looks better uh, than what the alloys do uh, but going back to the car compar comparing this to the one from the film it is very very close the, the, the pretty, pretty much the shape of the car is 
identical. The front of the car is pretty much identical with the exception of that splitter. If we could remove that splitter but still have them retro lights, it would be perfect. Um, obviously, if we could remove them, vin them fin vents from the front of the hood there and just keep that big air intake at the back there, uh, that would be a lot nicer as well. But because they're, them fin vents are color coded, I can kind of see past that. It's got the pop-up headlights as well, which is fucking sweet. We need them exactly like that. And also the, these uh, rear tail lights are in threes when we need them in twos. And obviously it's not convertible. But other than them minor discrepancies, I think it's actually come out pretty, pretty good. So I'm really happy with the way this has come out. Oh shit, gone interior. God damn it. But yeah, like I was saying, I think this has come out really, really well. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.